All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be going over the launch week patch notes that literally just came out. So we're expecting to see a lot of changes here. There's so much here. Just pause throughout the video if you need to. There's going to be timestamps as well. By the way, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Make them personalized so you can make your way back to the channel and make sure to drop a like if you do enjoy the video. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So launch week patch notes free nuketown weapon bundle we already knew that if you logged in today you did see this right here so apparently you have to redeem this nuketown weapon bundle before december 3rd and this includes a new weapon blueprint six weapon charms a nuketown theme calling card sticker and emblem season leveling how it works once you complete military ranks one through 55 and reach prestige one you'll enter season levels these levels represent the new prestige progression journey and rather than scaling with progressively higher xp requirements like military ranks each season level requires the same amount of xp to compete so this is actually a good thing here because it doesn't make it harder to level up you know the higher rank you are so i'm glad that that is is included in the game in the current preseason the maximum available level is prestige 3 at season level 100 after season 1 begins players will have up to 1000 season levels to complete each season with new prestige levels to earn as well as prestige master at level 200 the prestige shop will also become available to players who have earned their first prestige key i myself have already gotten one prestige key i'm definitely able to use my legacy prestige icons from previous games so that's cool as a reminder this system will carry over to Warzone and Modern Warfare with Season 1 for unified progression journey across all three games. All right, this is cool too. There is a currently known issue where your season level will display properly in the upper right hand corner of the screen between matches, but your level displayed in the after action report will be inaccurate. We're fixing this in a future update. Okay, so this is great because this is definitely something that's bugged out and very confusing. We don't know most of the time what our real level is and then it shows something else in the top right hand corner. Anyways, all right, so this is going to be the meat and potatoes. Uh, shout out to Thanksgiving, by the way. Hope you guys do enjoy your Thanksgiving this year. Uh, multiplayer, so for weapons, assault rifles. Okay, so the FFAR1, they did increase the recoil, slightly reduced max damage range by 3.5%, 28 to 27 meters, so reduced max damage range by 34%. It goes from 38 meters to 25 meters. Okay, submachine gun, submachine gun alpha. These changes were unintentionally reverted in today's update and will return in an upcoming update. Okay, so what this means is that they did nerf the MP5. I don't know why they don't just put MP5 here because that's what they're talking about. So they nerfed the MP5 and these are the changes that happened to it. And then earlier today, apparently, the MP5 was reverted back to what it was before it was nerfed. So glad they clarified this here that these were unintentional and it's gonna go back to being nerfed. Tactical Rifles M16 reduced that max damage range by 15%, 25.4 meters to 21.59 meters. Not too bad in my opinion, four meters is not really that big of a deal. Increased sprint to fire time. Uh, slightly slowed move speed while firing. Okay, of course this is terrible. Slightly increased delay between bursts, that's also bad. I hopefully, uh, you know, I hope that these aren't too bad. Of course, I wanna take a look at some actual numbers to see how bad this nerf really was was rebalanced fire rate bonuses on barrel attachments slightly reduced effectiveness of laser attachments as well tactical rifle charlie reduced max damage range by 20 percent 38.1 meters to 30.48 meters it, it seems like they basically did the same exact thing as they did to the m16 except for the reduction of range is not really as much on the m16 versus the charlie rifle here type 63 slightly increased the fire rate okay so that's a positive thing rebalanced fire rate bonuses on barrel attachments dmr slightly increased fire rate okay good all right same thing here for the barrel attachments being rebalanced all right so let's take a look at the light machine guns m60 improved max damage ranges improved movement speeds okay so more people are probably gonna start using light machine guns. Sniper rifles, adjusted sprint to fire times to account for early blend interruption allowed via animation system. The effective sprint to fire time is notably shorter than what is displayed in the gunsmith. We have plans to address the gunsmith readout in a future update. Adjusted movement speed impact when firing to intended values to make each shot feel more powerful. Fine-tuned barrel attachments that improve idle sway to provide a unique feel on each gun. 
Okay, you know, I'm not really a sniper guy. I'm not really sure what all this stuff means, but I'm pretty sure someone else who's smarter than me knows what this means. I'm just here to relay the information to you guys. Uh, pistols, Magnum, slightly improved fire rate, improved max damage range, improved visibility while firing after the first shot. Okay, so this is a buff, and as far as what I know, the Magnum is already overpowered as is, so we should see an increase of Magnum users out there. Shotguns, Shotgun Bravo, slightly reduced damage range between 5.8 meters to 7.7 .7 meters. Time to talk about the game modes. Hardcore, friendly fire system now properly transitions to reflect damage after three kills. Surgeon Destroy, address an issue where diffusing the bomb could take longer than intended, 7.5 seconds. Free for all, adjusted several starting spawns that allowed players to have line of sight on another player before the match started. <laughs> Damn, that is just... I, I had no idea that even existed. I'm glad that's fixed. CDL Hardpoint addressed an issue where players would spawn outside of the intended play space when playing CDL Hardpoint in custom games. Combined Arms improved the interaction when using stationary turrets in combined arms. Spawns adjusted various spawns in multiplayer game modes that could result in the player spawning above the ground. Custom Games added score streak cost overrides to custom games. All right, that's cool. That could be useful for testing. Score streaks, combat bow, reduced ammo from 5 to 4, care package, increased cost from 1800 to 2000, sentry turret, reduced cost from 2000 to 1800, napalm strike from 2100 to 2500, air patrol, reduced from 3200 to 2700, artillery, increased from 2500 to 3000, Cruise Missile increased from 2600 to 3500. War Machine increased cost from 3500 to 4000. Attack Helicopter increased from 4000 to 4500. Increased the damage from 50 to 75 per bullet. Increased health from 4500 to 5000. Decreased the duration of the screen shake from bullet impacts. Reduced the amount of time the helicopter will stay in one place before relocating. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to start using att Attack Helicopter. I, although it is increased cost from 4,000 to 4,500, that's really not that much. But this damage increase per bullet also as well, the increase in your health, is probably going to make this a lot more worth your time trying to get the attack helicopter. VTOL Escort, reduced cost from 8,500 to 8,000, increased turret burst length and reduced cooldown time. Chopper Gunner, increased cost from 6,000 to 6,500, reduced the movement on the gun when firing. Maps, Garrison, addressed an issue where a player in the crawl space could collide with players above them. I didn't know about that issue, glad that's fixed. Equipment, Tomahawks can now be thrown immediately at round start. Okay. Eliminations. Extended time after damaging an enemy that will count towards an elimination if that enemy is killed. Maybe this means that when you're throwing a Molotov at someone, for example, and you're being shot at and you die and you do hit the person with the Molotov, right before you respawn, it still kills the enemy. So maybe that was an issue in the game that people didn't die after you've pretty much inflicted damage on the enemy. Finishing moves. Improve the ability to trigger a finishing move on misaligned services. Okay, that's great. Address an issue where players would end up in an unintended pose if they were downed while being eliminated by a finishing move. Stability. Fixed a crash that could occur during intro sequences of a multiplayer match. Fixed a crash that could occur when using weapons, ammo, and caches. Fixed multiple rare crashes that could occur while the player was down. Fixed a rare crash that could occur when pinging a down friendly player. Fixed a rare crash that could occur when taking damage as the inflictor disconnected from the game. Fixed a rare crash that could occur when firing a locked on missile. Fixed a crash in search and destroy. Added various stability fixes. Okay, well I hope that they fix the theater mode because I've been having a lot of issues with theater mode. So we'll see. Let's keep reading here. Score streaks. Fixed a rare crash that could occur when the player disconnected after their care package had landed. Oh my god, that, that would just be terrible, man. Fixed a rare crash that could occur if the owner of a VTOL streak disconnected from the server as they were taking control of the score streak. Fixed a rare crash that could occur when using the cruise missile. Fixed a rare crash related to score streak score aggression. Wow, so many crashes in this game. Progression. Fixed a crash involving incorrect challenge progress tracking. Vehicles. Fixed a rare crash that could occur when vehicles were being respawned. Related to decoy grenade. Fixed a crash that could occur if C4 was being detonated but it no longer existed. Fixed a crash involving an incorrect volley count for the SAM turret. Fixed a rare crash that could occur in limited life modes when viewing the kill cam. Fixed a very rare crash that could occur when the forward intel perk attempted to adjust the player's minimap range 
while the player is not alive at this time. Miscellaneous fixes. Address an issue where the player would receive a UI error when they return to the lobby post-match. Address an issue where if a player respawned or joined in progress while their teammate was down and their revive UI would be missing. Address the rare occurrence where players would receive a UI error at the end of the x fill cinematic progression. Address an issue where the woods operator unlock would challenge Unlock challenge would not progress correctly if different weapons were used during a kill streak. Gunsmith addressed an issue where the player would lose functionality within the pause menu if the gunsmith menu remained open after the intro cutscene vehicles. Address an issue where operators are missing a pistol while riding as a passenger on vehicles when viewed in third person. Oh man, I am running out of breath here. So many fixes. Zombies. Gameplay improved general zombie pathing. Enemies will now use their out of bounds attacking against players in more unintended locations. Closed various exploitable locations where the player could have intended play space. Stability fix a crash that could occur when perks did not properly match up with the player's upgraded perk skills. Fix a crash that could occur when picking up perk cans. F added various stability fixes. Bug fixes. Okay, perks. Addressed an issue that allowed obtaining multiple versions of the same perk. Addressed an issue that prevented purchasing the elemental pop perk from one side of the machine. Addressed an issue where the tier 3 ether shroud could occasionally place the player under the floor. Weapons addressed an issue that prevented attachments from applying to certain weapons. Addressed an issue that could cause certain weapons such as the ray gun to be lost when being revived. Addressed an issue where to support rarity. But uh, I'll let you guys just pause this, man. There's just way too much to read. I'm losing my voice here. Address an issue that allowed players to earn progress toward dog ops challenges erroneously by joining a match in progress. Wow. Lots, lots of issues here, guys. But I'm really glad that these are fixed. That is great. Remember, we have to remember this was literally one year in the making of a game. So uh, it's pretty decent in my opinion, but I'm glad that they fix these right away. All right, global settings, aim response curve type options added to settings. Okay, that is great. So hopefully this will help that aim assist issue that was happening in the game. Bug fixes, progression, addressed an issue that made weapon camo and challenges appear to reset after resuming from a suspended state. Addressed an issue where the attachments always showed us unlocked when swapping weapon blueprints. Addressed an issue that would unlock all optic reticles on weapon blueprints. Reticles. Addressed an issue where reticles could appear upside down. Okay, that is great. Great that they fixed that. Cosmetics. Addressed an issue where stickers would not appear on weapons when selected in certain slots. PC. Bug fixes. Okay, I am on PC this year. Progression. Addressed an issue that displayed zero XP earned after the action report. Okay, I did experience that one before, so that's relatable. Friends list. Address an error when bringing the party back to the main menu. Fireteam Dirty Bomb. Address an issue with team's names showing up incorrectly in the after action report of a Fireteam Dirty Bomb match. Okay, that I have seen. Own issues. The list below is comprehensive and is intended to give everyone a general idea of some of the larger issues that we're tracking at the moment for additional details, blah, blah, blah. Controllers. DualShock 4 may disconnect intermittently on PlayStation 4 system running on outdated software. Parties. Okay, we had issues with party. Party leaders may receive you left the party after bringing their party back out to the main menu. Players are able to quick join a player that is marked offline. PC. Various stability issues being investigated. Okay. Multiplayer menu currently shows up as partially installed when the multiplayer package isn't installed. Anyways, guys, so many, so many changes in this launch week update. Um, you know, like I said, we, uh, but yeah, guys, I'm glad that they got all of these issues fixed. I'm sure there are more to come. Remember, this game was made in just one year. So you got to give Treyarch props, first of all, for putting out a game of this caliber in just one year. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy for more Call of Duty news updates. And I will keep bringing them to you as soon as they drop. Make sure to subscribe if you are brand new around here. Make your way back to the channel. Join Turbo Nation today. Make it official. Let's go, baby.